Now, moving on to understand the relationship between the novels in the colonial world. How did the novels help the people to understand the Indian basic culture and the Indian basic understanding of life? Because, as we all know that Britishers are new to the Indian land. Yes, they may be ruling India, but they don't know what is the Indian culture, what are the habits of the Indians, how does the Indians talk, what are the ways that they behave, what are the customs they follow, the way they dress, the way they act, all these things are different when compared to their own societies. The English society acts differently for the different occasions, whereas Indian society acts very, very differently when compared to them. Now moving on to understand the relation here. Most of the times we have seen the novels which are written by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee, Sharat Chandra Chatterjee or uh, the books written by Prem Chand have been very, very famous in the entire Indian context. So these books actually paid the way for the Britishers to understand what is India actually. Because in these books, the use of the novels, the novels are being translated into the vernacular languages. So most of the times, the novels which are in the vernacular languages always dealt with the issues which are customized to the local conditions. So basing on the local conditions and the local problems, they were able to understand what are the actual problems, what are the actual issues and what are the problems that are being faced. Even though they are not explained in detail, they are able to understand what are the problems that are there in the Indian society. That's how the rulers or the administrators during the Britishers rule were able to understand what is India actually. What are the problems that India have? All these things started to get connected towards the people's ideology. Now, moving on to understand this. What did they actually understand? They try to understand the life of the Indians, the customs that Indians follow. Because in the Indian household, we have people dressing up differently. And also it varies from every state to the other state. Even the people those who speak the same language within the state also have the different dialects where they speak different words differently. For example, in one region, they may call one word for a particular thing. But when it moves to the other region, it may be used in the another meaning or another way. For example, in Telugu, if you call them as Randi, it is a very polite word. But the same word Randi in Kannada means it is a very, very bad word. So it gives the different, different meanings in the different, different regions. And the same language also will be spoken by different, different slangs and accents in different, different corners of the parts. So now, in this way, to understand the Indian life, the Britishers started to read the vernacular language books and also the Hindi books and try to understand the Indian culture because they are completely new to the Indian culture. After reading the books, after understanding the culture, after understanding the society, they started to translate it into English or into any of the languages which, which they are familiar. It may be the French or any other language for which they can understand. So that gives a clear idea for them to understand the Indianism, Indian life system, Indian life culture. So understanding all these things will definitely add on to the situations for what they are having. So that's how the translation concept into the English started for the vernacular novels. And through the novels, the novels acted as a link to the Britishers and the Indian life, Indian custom, Indian traditions, Indian people to understand the Indian people. And also, as I told you just now, language has been spoken differently in different places. So when the books are written, when the novels are coming, till that time, the accents are being customized or present only in that particular region where they have the problem, where they speak that particular language, where they use that particular language. But as the time passed on and when these were brought into novels, that became into imprint, that became an identification of the society. Because if a character in the novel speaks in a, in a different accent which is of that particular region, so all that particular region people started to be identified with that particular accent, that particular category, that particular class of people where it symbolizes to be on a very larger scale. Till that time, this accent is known only to that particular region people or the neighboring region people. 
but once it has been imprint and it brought into the novels as a written proof then it started to be moved on to all the corners of india and in the, all the corners of india they were able to understand whatever they need that they were able to understand and they got to know that this is the system which is followed in this corner this is the accent of the same language how it is been used that said how it is being on the east how is it used down to the north how is it used up the north how is it used down in the south so this variation made it very clear for the people to understand through the novels so novels played a very very vital role in understanding the culture of the indians not only for the britishers not only for the administrators not only for the people those are planning for the society not only for the people those are ruling that time but also for the others who are not familiar with this people or who are not able to connect with these people through direct access that's how they learned through the books novels played a very very major important role in understanding the indian culture on a very large scale from which the language accents the identification of the people the class of the people the category of the people caste system everything started to be emerged outside which are already present in the indian society but to be grown in a very larger scale now moving on to understand what are the problems of being modern so generally we feel that if we are modern we can have luxurious life we can be free of understanding anything we are not bound by any superstitious or blind beliefs all these things but in a society like india where from many hundreds of years or many thousands of years you are been accustomed to follow certain rules and certain guidelines though they may be right or wrong so after some 1800 years somebody comes and tells you that the way you are doing is something wrong you should be dressed up in a different way you should think in a different manner you have to play a different role in the society the the actions what you are doing are completely irrelevant so something where you feel that you are missing a lot of the things so that is called modernization according to the indians because in indians we have many doubts for the modernization in order to understand this interaction let us see this one novels we all know that novels have been written novels started to become famous after the novels started to become famous people started to understand the characteristics in the novels that we discussed in the previous part of the lesson and also now we shall have a glimpse of that once in any character uh, like example when they are explaining about lord rama rama is explained as an ideal person because he never disobeyed any of the uh, words which were told to him by his father it was considered like is order for him so that's how he is considered as a good son good father good uh, husband and a good brother uh, aspects of all he is a good at the same time when we talk about any novels when they are talking about the characteristics that character started to be created as heroes or the heroines but in actual reality novels do not bring the exact picture outside they cover up half of the reality getting that half reality into picture was a very difficult time during that period because if you write anything openly and criticize the existing government or administration or the society you may be attacked by those people directly physically so people are scared of this kind of attacks so they used to write on a hidden aspect like on an inner wave of understanding of the story that there is something that is going on that troubled these people these are the major problems these are the major issues these are the major things these all things are being discussed and detailed in that particular issue of understanding so that's how we have to understand this one so novels did not give the exact reality they generated heroes and the heroines of the society so when the heroes and the heroines are introduced by the characters of the novels who are living in the society the major concerns of the society are also been addressed by explaining the way the character acts that's how the people started to get connected themselves to the character for example a person living in a society where he is facing lot of problems so people those who are facing problems would start to get connected with them that's how the novel started to be the real picture for the people that's how they were able to imagine and visualize themselves on the character which is being played in the book so that's how the character started to assume the role of heroes and the heroines here we have one such character and these characters are used to answer the dilemmas in the society 
the writers used to bring out their creativity by bringing the situations for those people which are actually existing in the society and then try to bring out some solution for them by getting them the exact understanding of what is the severity of the problem and how they have to react for that one for example to answer all the dilemmas we have seen that uh, how to be modern is a basic fundamental question what is the problem in being modern the being modern as i told you in the introduction we are being accustomed or habituated to follow certain rules certain regulations for many many years after passed off for generations now somebody is coming and showing you the different way of living dif different way of dressing different aspects of looking at the life so it's not so easy to get yourself uh, synchronized with the modern way of thinking so you need to understand yourself you need to cope up with the things and then you need to finalize the things so when you are becoming modern another major problem is you should not reject the existing tradition so if you want to copy the west it is not necessarily that you need to reject the east or till yesterday whatever you are following that everything cannot be wrong because somebody is coming from west and telling you something so now there should be a blend of culture from the west and the east your own culture should be respected at the same time you have to modernize yourself according to the requirements of the changes which are occurring in the world so that question of dilemma has been answered very rightly by chandu menan in his book by creating two characters one is induleka induleka has known for her she is a woman she is known for her beauty she is very very beautiful that which creates everybody a spellbound action because of her beautiful nature because of her beauty physical beauty whatever she has and uh, she has been well educated in english as well as in sanskrit languages at the same time we also have madhavan who was also a member of english educational class society and who was the first scholar of english and sanskrit literatures so these people the way they dress madhavan's dress he belongs to a nayanar's family of tamil backdrop where he used to dress himself in the modern western dressing and also put the head carving which he used to have for the nayanars at the same time the beautiful induleka also used to maintain her traditional style and also used to follow the modern way of thinking modern way of understanding the life by bringing the characteristics like induleka and madhavan induleka and madhavan are both are the representatives of the modernization of the traditional people they are trying to blend the modern knowledge the modern way of thinking by dressing in the modern style by developing themselves by learning literature by understanding literature they both of them learned english for understanding modern at the same time they did not forget the importance of the traditional language so they learned the sanskrit also they both are experts of uh, indian language sanskrit and also the foreign language english so we have to understand their importance very clearly and they never ever underestimated any of their home traditions at any point of time yes they dressed up themselves in a modern way to appear to be modern and to understand the thinking of the modern people at the same time he always dressed himself by having the head covering according to the nayanar style she also dressed herself in the sarees and bringing in the beauty of having indian culture and the modern culture getting mixed up prior to this people used to have a confusion that if you adopt to modern we should always reject the traditional but the point is not to understand that if you are adopting something you are rejecting the other thing you have to understand that you are going to blend that according to your knowledge your understanding our traditions are very great and we follow that from many hundreds of years but it may be something which may be different from the others who are following in the west as the world is following the entire thing we need to customize our tradition towards the modernization and link those two and make our life possible through following the traditional values respecting our country's integrity and also adopting to the modern requirements of the entire global world now we shall try to understand 
what is the pleasure of reading because the novels started to become the major medium of entertainment for the middle class people it's for the majority section of people we all know that by that time there was not any great discovery like cinemas sports or any other television channels or any other entertainments which are on very large massive scale so it's only the books that have compensated the time with the free time whenever they would like to refer something whenever they would like to have spend some free time they would read a particular novel which will drag them into their own different imagination but not into the regular lifestyle so that's how it started to bring a new way of entertaining the people a new pleasure for the people by reading the books this new pleasure has been witnessed by many people so slowly and slowly the reading became a very very good internet interrelated habit for all the people like housewives working men students those who are studying all these people started to read the novels the novels started to become very very famous slowly and gradually it did not happen in overnight like what in the modern days we have that a particular novel written by sachin autobiography uh, play it my way where it became very famous before it was released really so many copies were been booked but it was not like that but we have such kind of great demand of the novels during the golden period also so the especially when it comes to the books which are having the pictures that gave an extraordinary imagination skills for the people and also all the books are been translated into the local languages so that also added to the people to get connected very well towards the local understanding so it's not compulsory that you should learn english or it's not compulsory for you to learn french or something else to understand the language of the books so this also made connected the people together by making them to understand the issues clearly and later when we talk about the example in tamil nadu in tamil there was a flood of books coming in on the popular novels when i say the word flood which is unstoppable where you can't stop it it is an overcrowding of the water like in the same way overcrowding of the novels coming into the market and it is a very very astonishing point to learn that uh, there are people who love to read detective novels detective novels mysterious novels the detective novels and the mysterious novels are very very famous in the tamil literature so in the tamil literature it would be very shocking for you also like these detective novels and the mystery novels were again and again gotten greater and greater demand of the people so they started to print these books nearly 20 times these books are reprinted so that shows for us how much the people are getting connected towards the tamil literature or especially the books which are related with the detective and the mystery understanding of the novels and later till the time later part of the 18th century early part of the 19th century ending part of the 19th century and also in the early phase of the 20th century also we have the habit of people reading the books on a loud note especially the novels because it has been only for a privileged classes people who can understand reading who can uh, explain for the people those are in a mass gathering because very few people used to have the knowledge of understanding the things understanding the subject and analyzing the things but as the time passed on the situation has changed now the novels started to generate the habit of silent reading because once you start to read silently you start to in your subconscious brain to imagine the characters and the way they act the way they react and what would be the possible things so you start to imagine what is the action of the particular character when this kind of situation will come what is that character supposed to do if it happens like this what did actually do was it right or wrong so these kind of so many questions come up in your brain when you are reading a novel so then automatically a person becomes silent this silent reading has been generated into the people because of the coming of the novels prior to this people used to gather at places to learn they used to read loudly and explain to the people for example in television channels we get people uh, people explaining about ramayana people explaining about mahabharata where they take a chapter and a verse and they read it and they re explain the entire word for us in a manner which we can understand in the same way we also can imagine that 
the people during the olden days especially from the later part of the 18th century to the 19th century later part the novels are been read very very loud so that everybody can understand and also they can discuss about that but with the coming of the modern novels especially the detective novels the mysterious novels the romantic novels and all these things made the people to be very very imaginative creative and also imagine the characters and getting well connected with the characters and imagining the actions of the character so now they started to dive themselves into the book earlier if you are in a crowd they used to read loud but now even if you are in a crowd they started to read silently and they started to become uh, setting themselves into a dream world where though they are in crowd they are not in crowd they will be an imaginative world because the character makes them to feel like that the novel started to make the person to feel like he is in some other place where the character is doing something where he is just understanding the character of that particular person who is in the novel he is not interpreting the character he is just going through the character so he starts to imagine himself as a character this imagination start to make the people to go into a dream world in these novels that is a extraordinary skill of pleasure of reading that pleasure of reading has been initiated in indian also in the later part of the 20th century where many people started to read the books in tamil it has been a great example that mysterious and the detective novels are been printed and printed and printed nearly for 20 times this shows that how much people are fascinated towards reading that's how we have to understand the pleasure of reading has also been in depth into the indian 